vastly outnumbered U.S. troops could lose a war against North Korea, U.S. chief warns. The Army veteran said even limited military action against North Korea could cause a full-scale war leaving the U.S. vastly outnumbered by North Korean forces. The use of nuclear weapons by Kim Jong-un could not be ruled out and a full-scale war would probably not destroy Pyongyang's nuclear capability totally he warned. Lt. Genjua said the U.S. are vastly outnumbered by North Korean forces, as well as Allied forces that will conduct the overwhelming majority of the fighting. He went on to say that the U.S. could also have problems in getting reinforcements or new supplies, adding troops may well find their bases subject to attack by conventional or chemical weapons, which will further delay their entry into the war. The deputy commander added, an enormous casualty and evacuee crisis will develop and include over 100,000 non-combatant Americans, many of who will turn to U.S. forces to get them off the peninsula. U.S. Defense Secretary James Mattis has said the results of conflict would be catastrophic. There are currently around 28,500 U.S. personnel in South Korea, although new reports place recent figures both higher and lower. According to the Council on Foreign Relations CFR, 1A, U.S. think tank, Pyongyang has around 1.1 million personnel in its armed forces, however. The CFR added in a recent analysis, although Pyongyang is outspent by its neighbors and adversaries in dollar-to-dollar -dollar comparisons and defense experts say it operates with aging equipment and technology, the regime's forward-deployed military position and missiles aimed at Seoul ensure that Pyongyang's conventional capabilities remain a constant threat to its southern neighbor. Lt. Genjua's letter comes at a time of heightened tension between the U.S. and North Korea, with Donald Trump in the middle of his tour of Asia. In Seoul earlier this week he said, it makes sense for North Korea to come to the table and make a deal that is good for the people of North Korea and for the world. Meanwhile. Donald Trump is believed to have signed 37 major deals between U.S. and Chinese companies during his Asia tour. The U.S. Commerce Department disclosed the president signed the deals in excess of $250 billion, pound $190 billion, including with huge multinational companies such as Goldman Sachs and Boeing. Mr. Trump's agreements with Chinese leader Xi Jinping have been praised by U.S. Commerce Secretary Wilbur Ross who claimed the deal showed the president is able to build bilateral relationships between nations. Mr. Ross added, it was a great honor for these to be witnessed by President Trump and President Xi today. A special thank you to our CEO delegation for their hard work in support of this historic event. The U.S. president has set trade as one of his core priorities in his first year in office and he held talks with Mr. Jinping about the multi-billion dollar U.S. trade deficit with China, China.